This is part 12 of Angular CLI tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss generating directives, pipes and routing guards using the Angular CLI. Generating directives, pipes, routing guards and most other Angular features is very similar to generating components and services. We discussed generating components and services in our previous videos in this course. To generate a directive, we use this command ng generate directive and the directive name or we can also use its alias ng g for generate d for directive and the directive name so let's generate a new directive ng g d and let's call our directive my directive now this command is actually going to generate an error there we go look at the error message it says more than one module matches use skip import option to skip importing the component into the closest module. This error message is slightly misleading. Now if you look at what we are creating, we are actually creating a directive here. But look at the message right here. It says component. Though this error message is slightly misleading, it's actually pointing us in the right direction. If you look at the message, it's basically saying we've got more than one module within our Angular project. So it doesn't really know into which module this newly generated directive should be imported. So if you look at our Angular project, we actually have three modules within this project. We have our root module, app module, student module, and customer module. So the new directive that we are generating right here, into which module should I import this? There are two ways to fix this error. One way is to use the skip import option. When we use the skip import option, basically we are telling Angular CLI, do not attempt to import this directive into any module. Just generate the directive and then later we can manually import it into the module where we need it. So let's use the skip import option, dash dash skip dash import. And let's also use the dry run flag so it doesn't actually generate the directive. There we go. Look at that. We don't have the error message now. The directive itself and its spec file are generated. Now we will not be able to use this directive until we import it into a module where we need it and we have to do that manually. The other way to fix this error is by using dash dash module option. When we use dash dash module option, we can specify the name of the module into which we want to import this newly generated directive. So let's use the module option. Instead of skip import, let's use dash dash module or we can also use its alias dash m and then specify the name of the module into which we want to import this newly generated directive, my directive. There we go. Notice it not only generated the directive and its spec file, it also has updated the root module file to import this newly generated directive. So if we look at this project within Visual Studio Code, notice we have the directive right here, its spec file, and if we look at the root module, notice it has included the required import statement and then made that my directive part of the declarations array. So the important point to keep in mind is if you have just one module in your Angular project, then you wouldn't get this error as the Angular CLI will automatically import and register the newly generated component, directive or pipe with that one existing module. When generating certain Angular features like services or routing guards, you'll not get this error even when you have multiple modules in your project because by default, Angular CLI does not try to import and register services or routing guards. So to generate a pipe, we use the similar pattern ng generate pipe pipe name or we can also use its alias ng g for generate p for pipe and the pipe name and along the same lines to generate a routing guard we use ng generate guard guard name or its alias ng g for generate another g for guard and the guard name now let's try to generate a guard and see if we get this error more than one module matches ng g for generate another G for guard and let's call our guard my guard. There we go. 
Notice the routing guard and its spec file are successfully generated without that more than one module matches error. So keep in mind when generating certain Angular features like services or routing guards, you'll not get this error even when you have multiple modules in your project because by default Angular CLI does not try to import and register services or routing guards. When you are generating directives, pipes or components, and when multiple modules already exist in your project, you will either have to use skip import or module option along with the ng generate command. Otherwise, you will get that more than one module matches error. Finally, here are some of the common options that we can use with ng generate command. We discussed these options in our previous videos in detail with examples. Thank you for listening and have a great day.